This is part two in a four part series. So if you haven't watched part one, go ahead. You'll get the framing. You're going to get the early piece of this. So the protocols and the unit arc. Now in this one, we are moving into the priority standards for the unit, as well as the driving question. Here we go. So now I have all the protocols that we're going to use priority standards wise, here are the pieces and I'm just pulling these from existing standards that a collection of teachers uses. And we are going to look at this. So inquiry and research, analyze and critique, connect and synthesize innovative thinking and take action for justice being the five core priority standards, uh, working definitions are here. And then thinking about the first three as kind of this learning set, and then an application or creation set is the bottom two. Now, when we think about a driving question that frames the unit, we want to think about how we leverage those priority standards. We also want to think about a nice frame, the HRL frame or Hill frame from Dr. Goldie Muhammad's work is fantastic. Thinking about that, I really like to focus on identity, criticality, and joy. So these are the questions Muhammad asks. I would write several drafts to come up with this. Let's do some examples. I might want to take a concrete current event or topic. Okay, so it was just January 6th a few days ago. So thinking about the insurrection on the Capitol, right? How do we heal from folks who are literally stampeding the Capitol several years ago? And there is this attempted coup. And how do we heal from both of those? How do we heal the United States? You want to make sure the driving question is connected to some form of content. So maybe we're learning about government. Maybe this is a government class, but we're doing it interdisciplinarily. Let's see where it goes. How do we heal the United States from division? But also I want to be really intentional about naming the hatred that is present. Hatred towards justice, towards racial identities, gender identities, linguistic communities. How do we heal the United States from division and hatred and this pursuit of I get what I want at all costs? So how do we create a system that is more communal? How do we take action in community. So how do we take justice centered action in community? That's obviously not super friendly <laughs> for our students um, in terms of the language. So maybe I want to do another draft. So I want it to be engaging. I wanted to invite depth and nuance and I want to center justice and be clear. So it's not super clear right now. Maybe I want to say, how do we just to simplify it a little bit? How do we heal from trauma and take collective action uh, or maybe not collective action, but how do we restore community. Okay. And then I'm thinking, okay, well maybe it's not about restoration because maybe that community never existed, right? Maybe that ideal never existed. So now I'm thinking about truth and reconciliation committees. How do we pursue truth and reconciliation after the January 6th insurrection? And you can insert literally any content here, right? How do we pursue truth and reconciliation after anything? There's so many injustices that you could use as a jumping off point here, but how do we pursue truth and reconciliation? Interesting. Okay. So now I'm wondering if Pursue lets us off too easy. So how do we ensure we speak and hear truth and reconcile and repair harm after January 6th instruction? Okay, so now I'm thinking this is good, but it's now it's getting lengthier. How do we as a nation, or I could also use this as a community because then what we could do is we could tap into some different case studies that are more a uh, small group. It could be around a school, like your school specifically. It could be around various things, but how do we as a community, and then that could mean a variety of things, although we don't want to get too broad, but how do we as a community heal and focus on maybe heal through truth? Or maybe truth and reconciliation is a concept that underlies this question and that becomes kind of the vehicle to answer the question. So how do we as a community heal from, and then we can insert whatever here. So, okay. Now I'm looking at draft three, kind of liking that better. So <laughs> this is why we write multiple drafts. So I'm going to use how to pursue truth and reconciliation after the January 6th insurrection as my final driving question. This is not perfect, I know, but let's just use it for now. So how do we do that? Well, we now need to figure out how students are going to answer that question. I think this is a good stopping point to go ahead.